Hey friends and family, this is SP News Nugget and today we are talking about a story that comes out of the Long Island area. This is New Jersey and New York. So you guys, this is up, up, up there. Anyway, it's about a, a young lady. Her name is Tanisa, Tanisa Campbell, Campbell. Anyway, she's 24 years of old. She's a single parent to three children, a little boy and a set of twins. She literally took her hands and strangled and killed her set of twins. Beautiful, beautiful little girls. And she basically called the police and confessed, you guys. So it's not like we got to go look for the person. Anyway, we're going to talk about this on the other side. But first of all, I need you guys to subscribe if you have not subscribed to the channel. It's very, very important. And once you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so when we upload a video, you get it also. You know, we always putting out updates of what's going on. If you don't have time to look for, we give you news breaks of things that's just happening as soon as you're reading it. It's happening. So... Please support this channel. Down below, once you become a friends and family, and you don't even have to be friends and family, leave a comment down below because I read every last one of them. I promise I do. I respond to a lot of them, but, I mean, it's so many that I can't respond to all of them. But I let you know with a little heart that I read your comment, and sometimes I pin those comments, you guys. So if you put something on there, you know, I will pin it. And if you want me to join your channel, just ask me to join, and I, I would I would join your channel. That's not a problem. There's a thumbs up if you like the video, and then there's a thumbs down if you don't like the video. But I'm going to tell you, this channel is all about communicating with each other. We have a relationship. We're going to talk about things, and we're going to try to get some resolution. We need this to stop. We need our babies to be not getting killed, especially by the parents. Especially by the parents. So sometimes we can help our loved ones to maneuver and deal with their families. But meet me on another side, you guys. Here we go. Okay, friends and family, we are going to talk about this a little bit and then I'm going to show you the clip. I just, I just don't like when I have to rush and try to tell you everything I need to tell you in the intro. But I have to kind of explain. If you don't want to hear, because sometimes it'd be a little gruesome. So you may not want to hear the details. So I kind of give you some of the what's going on so you can make that decision whether you want to continue to hear this report or not. Because some people can handle it and some people cannot. But this is a lady... Like I said, her name is Tanisia. She's 24. She's a single parent of three kids. She has a little boy, and she has these uh, set of twins that you see in front of you. Well, the little boy was found untouched. He's safe. He's alive. Everything's fine. But this lady, uh, the mother, Tanisia, she killed her children with her bare hands. And after she killed the children with her bare hands, she called her mother... Her mother then called 911. They tried to find her, and by the time they found her, the babies was already dead. They said the babies died of cardiac arrest. So that's probably, you know, she probably strangled them to death. And then she wanted to kill herself. So she wanted the police to, to kill her. She wanted to walk into the ocean. She just wanted to go to heaven. And you guys, it's, I, mental illness is serious. Is very serious, and um, I just I just think that we do talk about these things, and hopefully we can do something. And 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 I know you guys are wondering, well, what can we do? We just sit on YouTube and we talk about stuff. No, we can do things. So if we have enough people that subscribe to the channel. We can all sign a petition for laws and rules and regulations to be changed to the congressman and to the mayor and, and things of that nature. Because they will look at that if you have enough people. Right now we only have a little bit over 800. And I know that we're reaching a goal of 900 real soon and then we'll have 1,000. But it doesn't stop there. 
we're going to have enough of a platform of people that are concerned, that are parents, that does have kids with, with mental problems that people will will have to have checks and and be, you know, accountable for their actions and, and, and be responsible for them. Even though that some people have mental illness, there's ways to catch with catch before a person have a breakdown. And that's what we need to get to. When we see these signs, don't be scared to call call it in or have you know CPS go over there and do a good wells check or a police officer go over there and do a good wells check. That's what we're supposed to do. Because right now, you guys, I know you're looking at all these videos and every day I'm almost posting like three or four children every day just about. And 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 you know what? When I don't post it, it doesn't mean it didn't happen. It's just I get drained and I don't want to post no more. So this already had happened a couple of days ago, maybe five days ago. I didn't want to post it. But something keeps telling me to post it, post it, post it. Because people need to wake up and see that it, it is it's common. It just happens. People's like, what's going on? The world's coming to an end. Da, 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 da. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. It's been happening. It's, it's nothing different. It's been happening. It's just so now you are aware because we have this technology, we have internet, we have cameras. So now you can see it for yourself that it is happening and it's been happening and we can do something about it. Now, like I said, a majority, if you have a crowd, if you have numbers, it can change things. But if we do nothing, we know what happens. That's right. Nothing. So anyway, you guys... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop chitter-chattering because, yeah, I do get sick and tired of reporting about these babies. It don't make sense that we don't have some kind of system to help them. You know? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and drop that clip, uh, clip for you guys. And, uh, and, and uh, we might talk at the end of it. Here we go. After a Long Island mother is accused of killing her twin two-year-old girls. The Medford woman appeared before a judge one day after a phone call to her mother led to the unthinkable discovery. CBS 2's Carolyn Gustav has more now from Suffolk County. Do you have anything to say? A shackle, Tania Campbell, hid her face as she was led to court, where a judge placed her on suicide watch. It was a frantic search for a possibly suicidal, homicidal single mother of twins that led police to the 24-year-old, but by the time they found her, it was too late. Somber Suffolk County officials expressed heartbreak. What happened yesterday is incomprehensible to us as the father of three young kids. It, it's unimaginable. Inside a minivan in Montauk, twin toddlers, Jasmine and Jada, dead in their car seats of cardiac arrest. Tania had parked her car in the entrance of the park, walked to Montauk Highway, and started screaming at responding officers to shoot her. It was a call to 911 by Tania's mother that launched the search by air and land. She had Tania on the phone who was saying she was sorry, but she didn't want to live anymore. She was going to kill herself and her babies. During the conversation, Tania indicated that the girls were already deceased. A massive search began. Using cell phone tracking, police located her minivan. The twins showed no outward signs of trauma. An autopsy will determine the cause of death. In the grandmother's statement to police, she quoted Tania as saying, I killed them with my bare hands and was driving to a beach to find the ocean and walk into it so she could be with her babies in heaven. She's a good person. She absolutely loved the girl. Tania's sister asked for privacy. The grandmother told police she'd been acting acting very irrational and angry. I tried to convince her to take a break and recharge herself, but she always says she can handle it. Then she cited a very long history of mental disorder, bipolar, depression, and anxiety. Her attorney suggests that will be the basis of the defense. It's clear that there are some emotional issues that don't, that don't need to be further looked into. Police say the twins' father is estranged from the family. Tania also has a four-year-old son who was found alive and well and is now with his father. In Medford, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.
Tanaya Campbell now faces the possibility of two consecutive life sentences if convicted.